Here we are then and welcome back to Colin's Kitchen. Right, today as you know we're doing the salmon and we're going to be doing the uh, potatoes and a few vegetables in the side. There's lots of other things you could have done in here. You could have put mushrooms in, you could have put peppers in, you, you could have had all sorts of combinations. But anyway, we're just going to keep it simple and, and, and as the videos go on we're, we're going to try and get more in advanced, advanced recipes. But anyway, we'll have a go at that at a later date. Don't forget this is really not all about Colin's cooking, we know it's been at the moment. But it's really, what's Colin going to do next? So, if you look at some of the other videos coming up soon, it's not just going to be in the kitchen. There's going to be some stuff outside. There's going to be some stuff in the lounge doing some stuff. Just all sorts of random stuff. Um, just having a bit of a laugh. Anyway, this Ridge Monkey, I think we can turn the gas off now. It's been probably on for about five or six minutes. Now, I did notice... I had to keep peeking on it because I didn't want the water to burn dry. And also, um, I wanted to see what the plastic steaming plate was going to be like because it's not metal. Uh, because it had been plastic with it heating up, I didn't know what had happened to it. Anyway, but it did actually twist a little bit. But once you shut it down, it sorted it out. But I'm hoping now that when we open it up, it's not twisted at all it's actually gone flat so if it's just done that the first time i've used it or it does it every time who knows if you get one of these it's just something to keep an eye on because if if it's a fault in it maybe you can send it back but anyway i'm not doing a view review on it i'm just i'm just having a laugh anyway i'm going to move it up here a little bit uh, move the camera back just a little bit and the idea now is to uh, to plate it up so the first thing to do Let's get this lovely piece of salmon out of here. It's been steaming away, like I say, whip for about um, five or six minutes. So it's lovely, look at that. That's come out really, really happy with that. Now, take this off, pop that in the sink for now. And you still got, because I was wondering if this water would actually evaporate away. But um, I think we said we put about half half the water in it to halfway up the pan and it's on the vegetables it's around about the same place but i think the potatoes maybe have gone down a little bit but that doesn't matter um, because these are absolutely red hot so you've got your salmon on one side we're going to put some potatoes on this side see if we can present it nicely Maybe a little bit better than the bangers and mash. Who knows? I think we're going to go for one more on the top of there. Whoop, that one's fell over. Let's see if I can get that on there. There you go. And then uh, we've got a little bit of vegetables here. Take note, I'm using the Ridge Monkey spoon with the holes in. So as soon as you put this in here, all the water just drains off on the bottom. Absolutely great. Move that up. A few peas. A few peas on there. And like I said, we did a few sweet, bit of sweet corn as well. There you go. That can go on there. Just imagine sitting in your camper van. Sitting in your tent. Sitting on the fishing bank. Now, if you prefer to have a pot noodle or that, well, you tell me. A little twist of pepper on the top of the salmon. You can put anything you like on it. A little bit of salt on the potatoes. There you go. Let me just bring this one round. What do you think? Hang on, let me get the angle right of the camera. There you go. What do you think of that? Salmon, boiled potatoes, vegetables and sweet corn on the Ridge Monkey. Lovely. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a little comment. Bye for now.